Hello everyone, welcome to Gadget Rishi. Today's topic is how to check, adjust the wall clearance for the generator engines, otherwise known as tappet clearance. So first things first, we start with the isolation of the engine. Make sure engine cannot start. The starting gear is off. The controls are in local. Pre-loop oil pump should be off. And the next thing is to engage the turning gear. So for that we have to remove the two locking nuts holding the turning gear in disengaged position and tighten the adjustment bolt so the turning gear lifts up and engages with the engine flywheel. Once it is in position we secure it with the locking nuts. Now the turning gear is fully engaged and the next step would be to open the camshaft covers. These are the camshafts for the inlet and exhaust wall and we have to make sure the unit which we are going to adjust has to be in TDC or otherwise known as the firing position. So for that we will first remove the inspection door and using the turning gear remote we will turn the engine to such a position that the cams for the valve operating mechanism or the rocker arms are resting on the base circle. The cam followers should be resting on the base circle of the cams for inlet and exhaust valves. So they should not be riding on the peak of the cam but they should be instead both on the base circle of the cam. Next thing we remove the cylinder head cover to get access to the valve operating mechanism, the rocker arm. Next we check the callot is free and easy to move, it can be rotated freely by hand. And now we start measuring our wall clearance. So on this engine which is 8L32 oblique 40 we have the clearance 0.2 for the inlet valve and 0.9 for the exhaust valve. So we are trying to insert the feeler gauge 0.2 for the inlet valves. And the feeler gauge has to be inserted between the valve stem and the calot. It should be free to go but it should not be very loose also. So neither very loose nor very tight that it is not able to go in. So once you have that we are trying to readjust and uh, we will try to loosen it now because it's way too loose. So what we have done is we have loosened the lock nut and uh, we are adjusting the wall clearance adjustment bolt. And once we have the required clearance that the with the feeler gauge then we are giving it a torque tight. And the torque on this engine for this lock nut is 200 Newton meters. So we check again we check also the other inlet valve. You can actually verify both the inlet valves at the same time with this kind of special feeler gauge. So both the inlet valves can be checked at the same time. And once we have satisfactory clearance, we give them a torque tight to 200 Newton meter. Moving on to the exhaust valves now. And we check again with this time with a 0.9 mm feeler gauge. The procedure is the same. The feeler gauge has to be inserted between the calot and the wall stem and in this case it is a little too tight to insert and so we have to readjust the wall clearance. We do that by loosening the adjustment nut, sorry the loosening the lock nut and uh, giving a small anti-clockwise movement on the adjustment nut. 
then we try to lock it again making sure it is just enough clearance so the filler gauge can slide in and out without much resistance and not being too loose either and once we have the set clearance we will give it a torque tight to 200 newton meter to lock the lock nut in place so now moving on to the last exhaust valve uh, this one may be a little tricky as it's a little bit difficult to access so we have to insert a rag or something to lift the rocker arm to make the correct clearance so that we are able to insert the feeler gauge and uh, we check if it can go inside freely but not too tight not too loose and once we have that we make sure the clearance is just enough we give both the lock nuts a torque tight for 200 newton meter and of course while we are doing this job we will make sure the rocker arm bracket the bolts which are holding it are also to the correct tightness and in our case in our engine the torque is 480 newton meter so we make sure that the rocker arm bracket is also keeping tight so we are just verifying the torque to 480 newton meter So once all the tappet clearance, the wall clearance has been checked, we just do a general inspection that everything looks in good order and then we are ready to put the cylinder head cover back in place. So we hope you enjoyed watching our video. For more such videos on engine room maintenance and operations, please stay subscribed to Gadget Rishi. Thank you and have a great day.